Well, lobster rolls are synonymous with summer. Now that the season is winding down, we're going to indulge one last time. <laughs> Chef Eric Levine is here to show us how to make this delicious treat for your Labor Day party. His new restaurant, 317 Main Street, opens in Farmingdale, yes. Long Island, later this month. Congratulations so, thank you on so that. Much. Thank you for having me back. Yes, we're happy to have you. Yeah. I'm, so, first of all, this is my favorite. Awesome. Well, you're going to enjoy this one. Because it's Next simple. Level. The whole idea behind lobster roll, I love lobster rolls. Mm -hmm. We do and too. Everybody has a different version and a, a different approach. To me, this I find to be the best version for me. So simple ingredients, lobster, a little touch of mayo, a little touch of lemon juice, a little salt, and a little lemon zest. I can't believe that's all it is. Yeah, Let that, me ask you this. Yes. How do you, I, I, I'm sure it's about the the um, quality of the lobster. Yes. So well, what's the best way We always way go to... with a female lobster. And the oh, best way okay. to cook a lobster is actually putting the lobster in the pot upside down. The female lobsters tend to be a little bit sweeter, the shell's a little bit softer, but when you put it in the pot upside down, it falls asleep. Oh. Put the water in Ooh. and then slowly bring it up to temperature. Because what happens if you put it into boiling water, it tightens up and then you have rubbery lobster. That's a good tip. So, very important. Okay. The other thing you could do, now it's still in grilling season, you could actually take the lobster tail, grill it, cool it, and then you can go ahead and make the lobster salad mm. for the lobster roll. So, okay. if you want to go ahead and start, if yeah. you want yes. to do a shot. All right, so a little bit of lobster okay. into the bowl. So, for one pound of lobster meat, we do a tablespoon of mayonnaise, light mayonnaise, because you want to taste the lobster. Right. You want to take a little bit of the lemon juice, just a little bit. Okay, yep. all right. There you mm -hmm. go. And a Oops. little bit of salt and pepper. And we always use kosher salt, salt and a little bit okay. of white pepper. Okay. Uh, the reason we use white pepper is because black pepper tends to have a heat temperature oh. to it. And you want the flavor of mm -hmm. the pepper, but you don't want it to be spicy. Right. So you just give it a little, nice little mix do, in do there. Do we do the mayonnaise last? A little bit of mayonnaise. Oh, yep. okay. A little touch. Because you don't want it to be too mayonnaise. Again, you want to have mm -hmm. that, that flavor profile. Right. So with all the things that we grill, uh, lobster is a fun thing to do. Steaks. And when you're cooking, let's say, vegetables or octopus, you want to go slow and a long period of time because you don't want to have the grill too hot where it burns the vegetables. It seems to be a common theme where people say, how do you cook? You know, grill vegetables the best. Right. Mm -hmm. Slow. Light oil, let it cook on the grill. Like we have these mushrooms on the side here. Yeah. Put them on the skewer. Another right way here. to grill. Mm -hmm. Right? So we have on here a lobster mushroom. Actually, oddly enough. Is this, enough, a, is this a lobster mushroom? That's a lobster mushroom. Which, Doesn't what does taste that like mean? a lobster, okay. but it has the color of the lobster <laughs> shell. Does, right, but it has a nice it. earthy flavor profile to it. And we have a little mm. bit of a uh, roasted garlic vinaigrette, which happens to be one of our vegan dishes at 317 Main Street. Got so it. lots of fun, easy and simple recipes. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's, it's a fun way to approach the end of the grilling season. Uh, but you have, you know, football coming up. You can grill outside. And again, with a lobster roll, important thing besides the lobster salad, itself is the is the bun is the roll itself so, so what's we the use best a brioche, kind of bun so to do brioche, a brioche. it has a buttery flavor profile mm -hmm. throw it on the grill a little bit of texture to it and again it adds more flavors mm. and more texture i think to I, your... I put a little too much mayonnaise in this That's but okay. then you There's just stick it much. right on yeah okay. exactly and you can make this ahead of time uh so when you have your guests over you can actually join them and enjoy them mm -hmm. and and have a good time with it so it's a good lobster roll it's a lot of fun just like everything else that we do on the grill. Mm -hmm. you know, we're at that point of the season where now people want to put their grill away. And I say, wait till October. Right? Yes, definitely. Because you can still, you know, like with steaks, let's say for a steak or a burger, you know, pull it out of the refrigerator and let it sit and get room temperature. Then grill it to your desired temperature. You could gauge a temperature either by thermometer or by your hand. So if you want it well done, which I don't recommend, you use your thumb and pinky. If you want rare, Mm. Your pointer finger and your thumb, so it's nice and tender and, and you know really creative. That's a good point though about the mayonnaise. So, <laughs> so many people put too much mayonnaise, mayonnaise and in. Celery and all yeah. sorts of yeah. stuff. And you don't want to mask it. Like we don't really yeah. put that. You don't want to yeah. mask that type of stuff. Thank so, you. Thoughtful discussion on lobster. <laughs> <laughs>